Hello, right. and thank you so much for listening to the Barker Bites podcast. I'm your host, Brad Smith. And at Barker, you know, we focus on providing marketing support for companies and organizations that are having an impact on their local community. My guest today is Maddie Collins, and she is doing just that with the organization Big Big Table. Maddie, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, my God, of course. Thank you so much for having me. This is so exciting. Yeah. So, Maddie, I had the pleasure of hearing you speak at the local Pitch 10 event. And for those who aren't familiar with that event, that is put on by the United Way, the the next generation United sector there. And they bring in 10 amazing nonprofits that are competing for some, some prize money. So I was blown away by your speaking there, your cause. And I was hoping you could tell our listeners who maybe weren't at the event what Big Big Table is all about. What's your story and who do you help? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So Big Big Table is a pay-as-you-can community cafe. We are located on the west side of Buffalo. And what makes us unique is that we use a, a participatory model. So we're open for lunch Monday through Friday from 11 to 2.30. But instead of money being the only way to basically exchange for a meal, we give our guests a few different options. So folks can absolutely choose the pay as you can option, which just means they can give us any amount they feel comfortable in exchange for a lunch. Our suggested donation is between like 12 and 15 bucks, but truly any amount is fine. You can give us a nickel, you can give us $50, whatever works, whatever you feel comfortable with. If folks don't feel comfortable contributing monetarily, we offer the option to volunteer your time. So we have a job board up in the cafe right next to the register. And basically it has little tickets on it that have different different jobs that need doing around the cafe. So it'd be like washing dishes, taking the garbage out, sweeping up the dining room, like truly anything to help us keep operations going. And like, I always tell people it's not just like a token thing that we're doing. It actually helps us. We have a small team here and we rely heavily on on volunteer efforts. So, I mean, when, whenever people volunteer their time in exchange for a meal, it's, uh, you know, very, very helpful to us. And then we also accept in exchange for a meal in kind donations of grocery items. So people will bring us fresh produce from their gardens or canned goods, basically anything that we can incorporate into our menu, we will accept as a donation in exchange for a meal. And we also have meal tokens available. We are revitalizing that program right now, but it's kind of like a mini gift card. We have these meal tokens available for sale. They are 12 bucks a pop. You can buy them in bulk, 10 for 100. And basically when you buy one, you can either leave it with us and we have a jar of redeemed tokens here, or you can take it out into the community and give it to someone who you think, you know, might enjoy a nice meal at Big Big Table. So, and what we do with the ones that are redeemed here is, you know, because we have this kind of unique model and, you know, if you're coming in for the first time, it might feel a little, you know, you might feel a little uncomfortable. You might not right. really feel sure what's going on. We have these tokens to say like, hey, this is how things work. You know, lunch is on us today but this is the expectation for next time basically so yeah that's kind of the broad overview of what it is we're doing here that's that's amazing so that's such a unique concept this uh pay what you can model is this something that um was unique that you just came up with did you see this in other cities how did how did this idea generate sure so i totally wish i could take credit for this idea but i am not the founder um our founder's name is mandy bailey and she, alongside with uh, several of our founding board members, started Big Big Table originally. And Mandy got the idea, actually, from a friend who sent her an article about John Bon Jovi opening up a pay-as-you-can restaurant, which was kind of like his restaurant was like the catalyst for a lot of other pay-as-you-can restaurants opening up across the country, which is super cool. I didn't know that <laughs> prior to being involved with Big Big Table. But anyway... Her friend sends her this article and says, Mandy Bailey, this is what you should be doing with your life. Yeah. And she said, yeah, it is what I should be doing with my life. We should all be so lucky, right? And so from there, you know, she had been working in the food industry for quite some time and had noticed how much food was going to waste 
every day. A big part of what we do, you know, we have an emphasis on food rescue and a lot of the food that we incorporate into our meals is stuff that, you know, is coming from like produce suppliers and it's, it's perfectly fine to eat, but they can't put it out on shelves because it's, you know, maybe a little bit dented or just, you know, not as pretty as they would like it to be. So we really try to lower those numbers of food waste anyway. So that's yeah. kind of, that's, that's kind of how it got started. And it was a long process. I think they, the idea came to Mandy in like 2015, 2016, and it took a long time to get together, but now Big Big Table's been here and open since 2021. That's fantastic. So all originated from John Bon Jovi, and now we're living on a prayer, huh? I know. We <laughs> totally are. Yep. I know. I really should be more well-versed in John Bon Jovi songs. <laughs> I don't know that that's needed, but but yeah, <laughs> you're, doing, you're doing some amazing work there. Now, tell me a little bit about your role in the organization. What's your day-to-day -day look like, and, and what are you responsible for? Sure. So I am the community and operations director here at Big Big Table. And, you know, whenever people ask me what my day-to-day -day looks like, it really, it's different. It's different every day. I mean, big picture, I, you know, as the title would suggest, community, I'm very much, you know, leading the charge with community engagement initiatives and managing partnerships and just kind of getting the word out about Big Big Table. So I have a lot of, I mean, my favorite part of my job truly is how, you know, I get to meet with other folks doing really cool work in our yeah. community. Yeah. So that's a big part of it. And oops, sorry, someone is knocking on our door and they're going away. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes people forget stuff. And anyway, so yeah, that's kind of the community part of it. And then operations, obviously I'm, you know, we have our head chef and kitchen manager who is really overseeing like back of house day to day, you know, operations in the kitchen here. But my role in the operations department is making sure we have enough volunteers, you know, making sure that we have enough food mm -hmm. to get through our, you know, service for a week, making sure that everyone has everything they need, both our guests and staff and volunteers. So yeah, that that's kind of the big picture. But like, you know, one day I'll be sitting at the table I'm sitting at right now in the cafe, like working real hard on a grant, trying to meet that deadline. And then the next day I'll be like serving up food and sure. taking orders. So it really, you know, it's kind of an all hands on deck situation. Yeah, no pun intended, but you're spinning a bunch of plates there and yeah. and making sure that operations are fulfilled. So talk to me a little bit about your outreach effort. So you mentioned that you work with some other local organizations and maybe it's suppliers or things like that. How did you mm -hmm. form and build those relationships? And, and is there anybody specific you'd love to shout out that helps really support Big Big Table? Oh my God, as of right, I mean, first of all, I just have to say that like, we are so lucky for all of the wonderful partnerships we have. I mean, we are able to do so much more than, you know, we would be able to do just with our team because of, you know, the generosity of our community partners. They're all amazing. Someone in particular I want to shout out right now, though, just because it's at top of mind is Providence Farm Collective. They are a farm out in Orchard Park and prioritize like refugee farm. And they have been almost single-handedly providing us with produce throughout the whole summer and into the fall now. I mean, wow. we see Hamadi, who is their markets manager, like <laughs> once a week and he comes in with his big box of stuff. And it's all like beautiful produce too, like really stunning, excellent quality. So they've been, I mean, they've been amazing. They've been amazing to us this summer. And every, you know, we've been able to put out a lot of really delicious dishes as a result of the food that they've given us. So yeah, That's Providence awesome. Farm Collective, we love you guys. You're great. That's um, awesome. For all those listening, yeah. go support Providence Farm Collective. Yes, please do. They're they're great. I love those guys. Good. And then as far as outreach efforts, I mean, it really, it truly is a team effort. I know, you know, my title is community and operations director, so I do a lot of it. But, you know, our board is very engaged with, you know, with the community and tries to get out and tap their network to make connections. For example, one of our board members, Carl Johnson, is a chef. So he has a lot of connections in the food service world with, you know, suppliers and, you know, you know, other chefs. And so that is super helpful, especially for me, because I'm not someone who's coming from a strict like food service background. I have a public policy background, actually. So it's, yeah, he's been super helpful. <clears throat> he's connected us with Boulevard Latino, Latino produce, and they've, they've given us a lot of great stuff. And 
Yeah. And then our board president, Stephanie Smith, is, you know, her day job is as a nonprofit consultant. So she has really got her finger on the pulse with a lot of, you know, local organizations and what they're doing and is always drumming up cool, unique ways that we could work together. And then for me, I mean, I love to, you know, just be out in the community. I swear, like anytime I'm out, even just in my life, I have my little business cards on me. I'll walk in anywhere and be like, have you heard of Big Big Table? Yeah. Do you have some food? We would love to work with you. You know, I kind of just, like I said, my favorite part of my job is getting to meet other cool people who are doing really amazing stuff in our city. So yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of FaceTime, a lot of, you know, doing research on my own time and reaching yep. out to people who I think would make, you know, who would make good partners for us, but we could also be good partners to them. For example, like right now we are hosting healing circles on like a monthly basis as okay. a part of, oh, they are the health and recovery cafe. I keep screwing up their name, but <laughs> they don't have a location yet, but they are, you know, doing these like pilot program healing circles. And we've hosted a bunch of those here. And that's been great, both for, you know, our guests and for them to kind of, you know, practice these, conducting these circles before they have a space. So we try to, you know, make sure that our partnerships are reciprocal and we're not only benefiting from them. For sure. Now, you mentioned uh, a lot of grassroots efforts. So you're out there, you're getting to know people, you're making connections. Mm -hmm. Do you leverage any digital tools, social media, things like that to help spread the word? Sure. Yeah. So we are on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And we also have a website, bigbigtable.org. And, you know, we definitely leverage those things as best we can. We are always kind of looking to improve our marketing efforts. I'm actually really excited. We're working this semester with a graduate level marketing course at Buff State. So we've been paired with two students who are kind of advising us and giving us like a book of best practices to sure. hopefully help us improve how we leverage those tools. So, but, you know, we're, especially on Instagram and Facebook, always posting our menu, yeah. shouting out our community partners, you know, letting people know about upcoming events. And as I said to you, I think before we started recording, I love to play around <laughs> in Canva. So when I do yeah. have the time and bandwidth, you know, I like to make pretty little pretty little Canva posts. So yeah. Love that. Terrific. Now talk to me a little bit about fundraising or donors. Mm -hmm. How do you go about um, supporting this? I know you have a lot of community partners, but if, if somebody is listening that wants to be involved, that wants to be a donor, that wants to help with fundraising, you know, what does that look like? Sure. So we, you know, our funding comes from a lot of different sources. Like we just completed our a contract with the New York State Department of Health for a, a small wellness bid we were working on with them, which basically required us to host uh, community health workshops in our space. And that was a grant for $50,000. And that was great, you know, because we had wanted to start hosting com more community events and, you know, we got some extra funding to do so. And they also provided us with a ton of health outreach materials, which was, you know, which was great for us. And yeah, so that that's one, one source that we've had, but we have a lot of, you know, a lot of foundations that have given to us on an annual basis. And we're always kind of myself and our board president, we're always kind of keeping our eyes peeled for you know, appropriate grant or fundraising sure. opportunities. We have a fundraising committee where we speak about those types of things. And then we do try to, we've worked with the Bills Foundation and the Sabres Foundation and like sold 50-50 tickets at games, which is always like a fun thing for, for us sure. to do. I mean, it's like an added bonus that we, you know, get a little bit, get a cut of the proceeds. But, you know, again, just trying to like be out in the community. Things like that are great because we're not only bringing in revenue, but we're also out meeting people who might have yep. not heard of heard of us right so it is you know again like everything we do here like it's a team effort and everyone is just kind of keeping their eyes peeled for opportunities that would be appropriate for us love that maddie my final question for you is tied around mm -hmm. the personal reward of of doing a um position like this uh what would you say is the most personally rewarding part of being involved with big, big table? Are there any standout stories or experiences you could share? Sure. I mean, you know what? I always tell people this selfishly. 
<laughs> I'm like, I, I feel so much more popular since I've been involved with big, big table <laughs> just because, you know, we, the space that we have is pretty small, but every time I walk in, I know at least five people who are here. I feel like Norm from Cheers. It's great. You know, like it, it really is nice to be somewhere where everyone knows your name. And mm -hmm. that's something we prioritize here too. Obviously not, I'm not the only one experiencing that. Like we really prioritize learning people's names mm -hmm. and making this place feel like a comfortable space for folks, you know, like we want it to feel, you know, it's a restaurant. There are certain protocols, of course, but we want it to feel like, like you're in your family dining room or you're, you know, sharing a meal with your close friends. And oftentimes that's what it feels like. I love that when you come in here, you see all different types of people sitting down and having lunch together. And I mean, had I never stepped into this role, there's a lot of people who I love who I probably would have never met just because yeah. our space is unique in that way. You know, like you kind of leave your like background, I guess, at the door. And it's a very equalizing space where everyone's, everyone's just a person who's hungry. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, that really is something that has struck me about big, big table, but also just like something that's very important to me is investing in my community and, mm -hmm. you know, making small impacts wherever, wherever we can. And just seeing people in this space, like help each other out or be able to refer one another to services. It just feels like a really beautiful, like community safety support network. So I really, you know, just, just that it's very, it's very heartening. I, I absolutely love that and helping make those connections, helping feed people, helping give some sense of purpose, some sense of belonging. That is so powerful. So for me to you, thank you so much for, for all that you do. I absolutely love that. And I'm excited to be able to help spread the word about Big Big Table. For those that are listening, get involved, uh, go educate yourself. You can go to bigbigtable.org and learn more. And Maddie, if anybody wants to volunteer or, or get connected, would you recommend they go to the website and reach out? Yes, I would. We're always, I, I'm glad you asked that because I was just thinking, oh no, I didn't plug volunteer opportunities. <laughs> we... Again, we're a small team. We always need volunteers. We love our volunteers. So if you are interested in volunteering with us, we have shifts every weekday, Monday through Friday, either from 10 to 1230 or 1230 to say three-ish, 315-ish maybe. And uh, you can go to the website. We have a volunteer tab. You'll fill out a form and then one of us will reach out to you. And it's, you know, I like to, I like to say that we're a fun place to volunteer. I like, you know, we're so lucky to have a strong cohort of consistent, regular volunteers who are here week in and week out with us. And, you know, we could not do what we do without volunteers. And we always, always need more help. So if you're interested, check out our website and uh, fill out that form and you'll hear from me. I'll send you a, <laughs> I'll send you an email and we'll get to talking and, you know, you can come hang out with us. Awesome. That sounds great. Maddie, thank you again for joining us. Thanks for sharing more information about Big Big Table. Really appreciate you coming on. Of course. Thank you again so much for having me. This was really cool. You've got it. And um, for all those listening, thanks so much for listening. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care.